All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, JFT, coming at you with another video. Today, we're doing PFL results number four. So it's PFL's fourth event. We got to see the wrapping up of the women's lightweight tournament, and we got to see the wrapping up of the men's welterweight tournament. And we started off with Gena Fabian versus Moriel Charneski. And in the first two women's fights on the card, so the very first two prelim fights that started at 5.30, we got the two that will feature next to Kayla Harrison and Sarah Kaufman. And that starts with Gina Fabian getting six points in a defeat of Moriel Charneski uh, via first-round TKO. Uh, this was the women's fights. The prelims were better than the main card when it came to finishes. Fabian entered her bout against Moriel Karniski, knowing she needed a first-round stoppage before the 221 mark to secure a spot in the women's lightweight playoffs to the PFL. She fought with a sense of urgency and ultimately dropped her opponent with a crisp, heavy left hand. Fabian followed up and was able to finish the fight one minute and 42 seconds into the first round. Now, that's the craziness of PFL, is that you get moments like that of where the fighters need to finish them mass quickly. So then you get Larissa Pacheo defeating Bobby Joe Dal Dalziel. The Canadian. Now, if you were to say Kaufman and Kayla Harrison are one and two, whichever order you wanted, you would probably say Larissa's number three for sure. She's got the second most experience in this fighting in this women's lightweight tournament. And fights like this are why the PFL was put together. A collection of some of the most fascinating rules and structure in MMA. The league wanted its fighters to reach in this stage with a playoff spot and another step towards a million dollars on the line. And then we get to see fights like this and the fight before where the fighters are fighting with an urgency and some passion and trying to get first round finishes. So since Larissa lost in the first round, she knew she had to get a win. And with the first round win, she would secure a playoff spot. So she did exactly that, getting the first round armbar and getting herself in the playoffs. So now the women's and then we get on to the other two, which will be later down the line. Now, this starts off the first welterweight fight of the card, where we get David Michaud, who actually gets six points, defeating Henderson Ferreira. Now, the PFL card began with two first-round stoppages in the women's lightweight division, and then it got even better on the prelims. The bout between David Michaud and Henderson Ferreira featured a groin kick, an eye poke, and wild exchanges. All of that came before Michaud landed a left-right combo that stunned Ferreira, who lost to Ray Cooper third in the semifinals of last year's PFL welterweight tournament while Ferreira controlled the action throughout the round Michaud's camp protested that their fighter got hit in the groin with a kick minutes after all that stuff would happen now Ferreira must wait and see if he can slip into the playoffs with only three points but Michaud got the win and guaranteed himself in and we'll see later on the standings who gets in and who doesn't make it then we get number two of the women's the men's welterweight card which goes with our number one spot. This is the guy who's going to be a number one at welterweight, Glaco Franca, who gets his 10 points. Now, that's a lot of points in the welterweight division, and only one guy was able to even have the shot of dethroning that in Magomed Karimov, defending champion for PFL. But nonetheless, Franca defeated Sabdu Sai, who got a beautiful knockout last week, um, last time the welterweights came out in the PFL. And uh, Franca wins it via third-round TKO punches. Uh, ultimately, Sai threw heavy leg kicks early, but couldn't stop Franco, who forced his opponent to fight from his back in the second and third rounds before his ground and pound led to the late stoppage in the final moments of the fight. So then we get to the one of the brutal knockouts with fan favorite Ray Cooper the third actually suffering a loss to John Howard in what was the most brutal knockout on the card. Uh, PFL 4. This is what the PFL 4 is going to have as their main highlight for this card. Cooper coming forward early in their fight on Thursday. Howard floored him with a powerful left hook. It stunned the crowd. Howard threw some shots while Cooper tried to recover on the ground and put the fight away. Then you move on to the main card, Joeo Seferino versus Bojan Velikovic. Um, Seferino needed to get a stoppage win here to make the playoffs, and he wasn't able to secure that. It was billed as the elimination bout with David Michaud and John Howard, who were both scoreless prior to this PFL event, earned big stoppage wins. So both of these guys needed to get a finish to guarantee them slots in the playoffs. And neither of the two could do it with Joeo Severino picking up the three-point win in the decision. Um, this one went back and forth with the stand-up going in favor of Velikovic for most of it and Zeferino being able to land takedowns and dominate with ground control. So nonetheless, neither of these guys made it in the welterweight rankings. Then we get Kayla Harrison who got nine points who ended off with nine points, getting six points in this fight against Morgan Fryer, who ended off with zero points. Fryer came into this tournament 4-1 and one and left the tournament 4-3 and three with a key lock submission victory. Kayla Harrison is the favorite in this women's lightweight tournament, and the only person people I think are giving a real chance to dethrone Kayla 
is Sarah Kaufman because of her UFC experience. But Kayla Harrison does it like she should. First round finish of the four and two Morgan Fryer. And then we get to the main event, which also goes to a decision. In a closer decision in the judges' scorecard said, Magomed Magomed Karimov, the defending welterweight champion, defeats Chris Curtis with all three of the judges, giving it 30 and 27. This is actually going to be the rematch. This is going to be the first one of the first um, quarterfinals in the welterweight tournament with Chris Curtis coming seventh and Magomed Magomed Karimov coming in at second place. So with that being said, we'll take a look at the standings for the men's welterweight division. Franca, who picked up a win in the third round of this card, ended off 2-0 with 10 points. Magomed Magomed Karimov only fought once because I believe his opponent missed weight. So we got three points for that and got three points for the decision win. Then Sebdu Sai got his first round finish in the last fight, which got him six points. Lost on PFL 4, but that was enough. The first round finish in that brutal fashion was enough to secure him six points. John Howard, with his finish of Ray Cooper, landed him at fourth with six points as well. David Michaud also with six points, landing in at number five. All of these fighters, one and one. Ray Cooper was able to finish Kamaka in the second round of their fight in the first episode of PFL. But with the second, with the second showing of the welterweights and the fourth PFL loss, Ray Cooper ends up with only five points in sixth place. Chris Curtis, who lost to Magomed, Magomed Karamov on this card, Ends off with four points, and Andre Fajilo ends off one and one with three points via decision. Then we get to the women's lightweight tournament, and like a lot of people would have thought, we get Sarah Kaufman number one. Maybe some people thought Kayla would be, but number one and two were set from the beginning. Sarah Kaufman number one, Kayla Harris number two. You could interchange those two, but they're not going to be meeting in the semifinals. It would be in the finals that these two would eventually meet if they, it all goes well for the PFL in their women's playoffs. But nonetheless, one of the most experienced in the card, more experienced than Kayla Harrison, is Larissa Pacheo, who came in at number four. She'll fight Sarah Kaufman, which will be a dangerous fight. I wouldn't write Pacheo, I wouldn't write Larissa off in the Kaufman fight, but Kaufman's going to be the favorite. And then Fabian takes on Kayla Harrison in what should be a walkthrough for Kayla Harrison. And that did it for PFL 4 and the women's lightweight regular season and the men's welterweight regular season. If you guys enjoyed this video and bringing you guys the results right away, make sure to smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sub to the channel and peace.